the Sentinelese people, also called the Sentinelli, the Sentinelli, the Sentinelese, and or the North Sentinel Islanders, are an indigenous people of the Andaman Islands, in the Bay of Bengal. They inhabit North Sentinel Island, which lies westward off the southern tip of the Great Andaman Archipelago. The Sentinelese maintain an essentially hunter-gatherer society subsisting through hunting, fishing, and collecting wild plants. There is no evidence of either agricultural practices or methods of producing fire. Their language remains unclassified, and is not mutually intelligible with the Harawa language of their nearest neighbors. The precise population of the Sentinelese is not known. Estimates range from lower than 40, through a median of around 250, and up to a maximum of 500. In 2001, Census of India officials recorded 39 individuals. However, out of necessity this survey was conducted from a distance, and almost certainly does not represent an accurate figure for the population who range over the 72 km to Ireland. The 2011 Census of India recorded only 15 individuals. Any medium or all longer-term impact on the Sentinelese population rising from the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and resulting tsunami is not known, other than the confirmation obtained that they had survived the immediate aftermath. On previous visits, groups of some 20 a circumflex 40 individuals were encountered regularly. Habitations of 40 a circumflex 60 individuals were found on two occasions. As some individuals are thought to be hiding, a more precise approximation of group size cannot be determined. This would suggest that some 2A circumflex 6 groups occupy the island. The role of thumb population density of 1.5 km2 slash individuals in comparable hunter gatherer societies indicates that one such group could live off the land alone. A significant amount of food is derived from the sea. It seems that at any one time, the groups that were encountered could only have come from a rather small part of the island, and that about half of the couples had dependent children or included pregnant women. There appeared to be slightly more males than females. The Sentinelese and other indigenous Sandamanese peoples are frequently described as Negritos, a term which has been applied to various widely separated peoples in Southeast Asia such as the Semang of the Malay Peninsula, the Eater of the Philippines Archipelago, as well as to other peoples in Australia including former populations of Tasmania. The defining characteristics of these Negrito peoples include a comparatively short stature, dark skin and afro-textured hair. Although no close contacts have been established, author Heinrich Hara described one man as being 1.6 meters tall, and apparently left-handed. Most of what is known about Sentinelese material culture is based on observations during contact attempts in the late 20th century. The Sentinelese maintain an essentially hunter-gatherer society, obtaining their subsistence through hunting, fishing, and collecting wild plants. There is no evidence of any agricultural practices. Their dwellings are either shelter-type huts with no side walls, and a floor sometimes laid out with palms and leaves, which provide enough space for a family of three or four and their belongings, or larger communal dwellings which may be some 12 square meters, and are more elaborately constructed, with raised floors and partitioned family quarters. Advanced metalwork is unknown, as raw materials on the island are extremely rare. It has been observed, however, that they have made adroit use of metal objects which have washed up, or been left behind on their shores, having some ability at cold smithing and sharpening iron and incorporating it into weapons and other items. For example, in the late 1980s two international container ships ran aground on the island's external coral reefs. The Sentinelese retrieved several items of iron from the vessels. The weaponry consists of javelins and a flat bow with high accuracy against human-sized targets up to nearly 10 meters. At least three varieties of arrows, apparently for fishing and hunting, and untipped ones for shooting warning shots, have been documented. Fishing arrows have a number of forward-pointing prongs. Hunting arrows have ovoid arrowheads, with bodkin-type tips for both purposes. 
the latter two as well as their associated barbs below the tip made from iron. The arrows are over 1 m long. The harpoon or javelin type arrows are nearly half as long again, about the same length as the bows, and can also be thrown or used for stabbing, but the latter probably only rarely.